Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Review. Tonight we're going to be talking about Batgirl issue 46, written by Cecil Castellucci with art by Carmine D. Giamenco. Now, in this issue we find Batgirl and Batwoman uh, up against a kind of almost Bond-like villain. Her name is Dasha. She has this new uh, electric uh, grid or gridless electricity delivering technology, but it deals with this um, kind of gold alloy that you see here on the cover, and like there's living beings or something in it. It's very weird. Weird. Uh, and she is also flanked by um, the KG Beast, who um, is, I, I like that character, but I wish we got some more of him in this particular issue. And I'll, I'll kind of dive into why I wanted that um, as we go through it. But um, let's go ahead and, and dive into this one. I didn't love um, this issue. I think um, I've been a little uh, on the fence about Batgirl ever since uh, Cecil Castellucci uh, took over from Marikhead Scott. Um, I really liked her stuff. And um, Paul Pelletier, his art, their their combination was really fantastic on, on Batgirl. And I haven't loved it uh, as much uh, now that we have this this new creative team. Anyway, let's dive into it here. So we see Batgirl, or yeah, Batgirl um, at the hands of KG Beast. He's kind of lifting her up, putting her in this um, uh, grabber arm thing in the little foundry that they're in. While Dasha, our Bond villain of, of the issue, says, uh, So convenient of you to join my electrical party, Batgirl. Your contribution to renewable energies is very welcome. And that just sounds like a Bond villain. And Batgirl says back, What you're doing here won't work, Dasha. And so, in a classic move here, uh, Barbara um, thinks about uh, all the times that she says, um, you know, uh, always have a plan in case you're immobilized. So she kind of flips out this little knife or cutting implement off of her glove um, and starts... Uh, cutting through the, the the thing that she's trapped in and keeps the bad guy talking, getting a classic villain monologue going. So apparently Dasha here was, her mother was working on this um, technology. Um, and see, let me see what, uh, what they say here. She says, um, my whole life I've been preparing for this moment. Uh, do you know what we have in, in uh, do you know that we have metal in us, iron, copper, zinc? I was seven years old. Uh, I was in the root cellar when the accident happened. I heard the screams piercing throughout the village, a sound I'll never unhear. My mother, my mother, hardly human anymore, was walking and melting ugh, simultaneously as she came towards me, trying to hug me one last time. The electrical experiment she was running had an accident, fusing the people of my village with the gold. Gold. Uh, I had what was left of her fashioned into this gold jewelry, weird, um, that I wear to keep her memory close to me. And then came the whispers. Uh, at first, I thought what I what I heard was just my mind trying to cope with such traumatic loss. But it was my mother's voice in my ear coming from the gold. I begged the government to help me free them. They laughed at me and said I was crazy. Yeah, I'd have laughed at you and said you were crazy too. The gold is speaking to me. Okay, let, let's take it to the hospital there. And and so that's kind of our, our uh, villain for the issue. She wants to um, create... She has no problem throwing the homeless people of Burnside and Gotham into this gold pit to create this technology, but then she's trying to get her parents out. All in all, it's it's very okay. It's it's going to be it's very forgettable. Um, I think the best stuff about this issue is Batgirl and Batwoman teaming up. I'm a big fan of Batwoman, and she's been kind of away from the mainstream of DC for a while. Her own series was canceled a couple years ago. Um, I think it was a couple years, or maybe about 18 months. Um, at this point, she showed up in um. And like a one-off issue here and there, uh, but for the most part, she was in Red Hood for a, a couple issues. But she's been kind of homeless in in the DC universe, and I'd really like for her to get her own book again. Um, so Batgirl there is uh, manages to break herself out because the villain was monologuing, and the hero um, got herself out. You know fairly typical stuff and then uh, Batwoman wakes up and then the two Bat ladies start beating down on the bad guys and there really isn't a whole um, lot here to um, to dive into um, except this one plot point that I wish they had leaned into a little bit more. Um, so KG Beast is saying here, shut up little girl or I'll pop one in your head like I did your little bird friend Nightwing. So here he's admitting um, what we already knew that he was the one that shot Nightwing 
Nightwing way back in Batman uh, 55. And um, so a lot of what this issue um, is about is how far will someone go or should go to avenge or save your family. So obviously, um, Adasha, our main bad guy, is trying to do everything that they're doing um, to somehow get their parents back or um, at least use what the accident that they were in to further technology and help people even though it's hurting some other people and she's very very uh says some very derogatory things about the homeless um here later on but they really don't lean into um this plot point of batgirl um finding out or conf- at least confronting kg beast after he shot um nightwing and kind of threw nightwing into the disarray that dick grayson's character has been in ever since batman issue 55 so i wish they had had leaned into uh into that a little bit more uh, one thing I did really enjoy um, about this issue, and I know I'm not going to read uh, a lot of the the dialogue here. It's it's like I said, it's just kind of okay. One of the, um, one of the things I really did like about this though is seeing Batwoman and and Batgirl together, and it kind of makes me long for and want a a, se- a Batman series where we have members of the Batman family teaming up together um, or at least going off as duos and doing things like Batwoman and Batgirl running off to go do something or maybe Nightwing whenever Dick Grayson's character is kind of returned to normal like him and Damien running off to go do things and I know those two characters have done stuff before but that was when um it was like Batman when Dick Grayson was uh, was Batman uh, while Bruce was away doing you know whatever. Um, but I was kind of, I, it makes me want like a like pe- members of the Bat family to go out and do things. Um, you know like you know like Cassandra Kane and 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 you know Barbara Gordon go out and do something. You know um, I liked it when Batwoman showed up in Red Hood. I thought those two characters were fun together. It's like how it'd be great to have like a book titled just. Bat family and almost have almost be have it be an anthology style book where you have multiple characters of the Bat family like come in and come out and like have like a rotating cast. That would be really really cool. And you could use DC could use that to like try out new writers and new artists, kind of give them a chance to prove themselves on a on a decently um, popular book, but nothing that's going to um, you know be adverse or anything like that. So that would be that'd be really cool. Um, and so we got um, uh, Dasha here playing with the gold and stuff again, and then she's absorbing um, all the technology, and then Batgirl kind of, like, kicks her out of the way. She, they're almost going to... She's afraid that if whatever this is keeps going on, there's going to be um, a large EMP. I do really love um, this spread here. Love Batgirl or Batwoman fighting um, a KG Beast there. That's really cool. There's some good action in here. Just overall, the story is, um, isn't is that great. Um, love the social distancing uh, advertisement here. Uh, so they've been sliding that in on, on some of these. And so this is where I think Batgirl uh, pushes Dasha out of the way. Um, and she almost had her plans um, uh, finally put together. And so then a few hours later, um, they're kind of cleaning up and everything. And then um, Batgirl and Batwoman kind of shake their hands and say, um, uh, Bat- Batwoman is going off to, uh, you know, take care of, of KG Beast. And then Batgirl girl says uh, make him pay for for what he did to dick now then here after all of that is done it's a week later and uh congresswoman alejo the um the congresswoman that barbara gordon was on the uh the campaign team for and now is on the staff for is actually using the technology that dasha um um, left behind and um batgirl's not happy with it and also jason bard isn't happy with it um and jason bard here says ever since uh congresswoman alejo took office she's been making lots of compromises that I'm not okay with and Barbara says even if uh, it does help power the neighborhood cleanly I feel really gross about this using um, this technology and and Jason agrees with her so they just kind of decide to play hooky and go get some some tacos together um, which is actually really cool I I I (laughs) I know they're just comics, but I, I, I kind of want some tacos after I read this. And so the next couple pages here are these characters kind of feeling each other out. Like, is this the, is this a date? Are we just walking around Gotham or uh, yeah, Gotham as friends? Because uh, uh, Jason knows a lot about the kind of day to day as Gotham uh, uh, of Gotham because he was a cop. So they, you know, that's how he knows about this taco place. They go and see this guy um, doing some puppetry on the streets, and then talking about the owl motif that's all over Gotham. You know. 
Horde of Owls uh, kind of stuff. Really, really cool stuff. They're on a bridge there. Some some artwork and some paintings. They go to a farmer's market. And so they're kind of having themselves a little bit of a day date, which ends in a kiss there at the end of the evening. And so... Um, I'm not the biggest fan of romance in my comics, but Jason seems like a pretty good guy, and they're going to definitely have some issues because he doesn't know how he feels about the Batman family, and he also doesn't know that he's about to start dating Batgirl, so that's definitely going to cause some some issues later on, and so we'll see where that goes. And then on our last page here, we get our lead in to Joker War. Barbara goes home. As she's on the phone um, with Jason, as she opens her door, none other than the Joker is standing right behind her front door, kind of hearkening back to um, the uh, Batman the Killing joke. So um, that's where we end this one. I'm honestly really excited for Joker War. Um, all the other series that I'm reading that have done anything with Joker War, I've really enjoyed. Um, Nightwing was really interesting, where Joker is taking a memory crystal and kind of affecting Nightwing's... Um, a personality a little bit that just happened so we don't see we don't haven't seen how that kind of um breaks out yet and then over in detective comics um we found out that the joker has been manipulating two-face maybe even since scott snyder's run so we'll see where this all goes and then we just had um the the batman uh issues um wrap up um kind of leading us into kind of our prelude or journey to joker war leading us into that i think we got one more issue before we um dive into the main story and so for batgirl the next three or seven eight nine ten um so yeah the next four issues are going to be ties in to tying into the joker war um i'll be reading all of these um they all of these series are already on my list minus harley quinn 75 um i don't know if i'll pick that one up or not i don't want to buy it just because it's joker war i don't have any other harley quinn comics but we'll see um what comes of that one and then i'll get the uh, the batman the joker war the joker war zone here and we'll talk about all of that stuff as it comes out right here on the channel. So guys, what do you think of Batgirl uh, 46? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down on it uh, in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time here at the channel and you liked what we saw, you liked what we talked about here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you click away. If you'd like to support the channel in a, another way, down in the description box I have my Patreon page as well as an Ask Me Anything tip page where you can leave a monetary tip to the channel as well as a question or topic and I'll answer that question or address that topic in a standalone video just uh, right here on the channel. Other than that, I got my P.O. box, my email address, all my social medias, and everything down there as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.